Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Brain Gun and it comes in a 144 scale, I would say it's quite an unusual choice if you check what we are actually getting because it's a BRDM2, it's a Soviet armored car and in 144 scale it should be really tiny but we get this kit as a resin assembly and it should be already available, it's a set number BRS144 and we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review so it will be interesting to take a look at how this model is actually replicated so the box size as you can see it's not that huge and if I show you the comparison with my hand you will understand that it's really tiny even the box itself is really tiny we have also picture of the assembled model as a box art and here we have website and some safety devices because this is a resin kit so that's why you have to follow some advices in order to use the parts in a proper way so this is a side opening box and if i open it there is plenty of space inside by the way and if i open it we have two plastic bags assembly manual and that's pretty much all so it's empty okay so let's move it aside assembly manual also goes aside as well as the decals we will check them later and we start with these resin parts as you can see they are carefully packed into this resealable plastic bag so i'm going to uh, also carefully open it and we will check everything closer okay so in total we have three resin bases first of all i would like to start with this let's say main part as you can see that's the main body of this armored car and we have really nice casting quality here so we even have the headlamps pre molded let's say or pre-casted and of course all hatches are also present here so you won't be able to open them but that would be strange to expect something different from such small model what is even more surprising is that the suspension elements are also here so if i flip it over you can see this uh, I would say quite interesting middle wheels which were present on this vehicle and the only thing which kind of bothers me is how the rear part is replicated I guess there will be some separate elements to install onto this uh, main section so let's place it here maybe for now and we go on with the next part so hmm that's quite interesting because here we get the turret parts as you can see all barrels are casted separately so you have to install them here they're really tiny let's not forget that we are dealing with a 144 scale armor kit so that's why you will have to use tweezers there is no way to avoid it and in case you want to try to use it with bare fingers it will be a really tricky thing to do and that's not all because obviously we need also wheels for this vehicle so here they are these are nicely casted wheels in my opinion for this scale they look really great so it's just a matter of careful painting and weathering and if i flip it over here you can check them from the opposite side so we have a classic pin installation swat so it's just a matter of installing them on your vehicle and you're good to go and of course because we have them casted separately so you can paint them separately and then install after you paint the whole vehicle so it will definitely make it easier to get your vehicle painted in a proper way you won't have to use some masks and i think even wheels can be painted with a sharp brush because there is no point to use airbrush for this and next we continue with another thing so we get also decals and p thread so first of all i will show you the p thread i guess that's what will actually solve the um, let's say features on the rear part because as you can see here we have various doors hitches and also some of the um, front light protections or cages which will be installed they're really funny that we get all this stuff in the 144 scale because some manufacturers cannot add it in 135 scale but here bring gun comes and gives it in a 144 scale on a really tiny vehicle and just to remind you as you can see it's uh, barely uh, bigger than my fingertip but that's not all of course for the proper marking you also need some decals so decals come on the separate decal sheet obviously and here we have a full number registry so it will be easy to copy the vehicle which you need and also we have several symbols of different armies 
And I think it's not difficult to find some reference material in order to replicate some particular vehicle. Obviously, it might be also a good idea to find some vehicles which participated in some conflicts and then you can add some additional insignia on the vehicle or something else. But it's up to you because as you can see, this is a really tiny build. And I think if you play with some uh, painting techniques, it also should be a good looking re result. And now we can move on to the assembly manual. So for the assembly manual, as you can expect, it's nothing I would say really detailed in terms of uh, reference material. I mean, there is no history note or some, let's say, background information about this vehicle. As you can see, it comes as a small brochure. And we start with the parts map. Obviously, all parts will be used. So pay attention to what you install and where. And of course, try not to lose or break any of this because otherwise you're going to have a hard time trying to repair or re replace these parts. It's really tricky because uh, this thin P parts they're kind of uh, really tender and I think it's a difficult task to copy them with something from the typical materials which we usually use for the scratch building. So as you can see everything starts with a turret. Here as you remember we have separate barrels which should be installed on it and of course because this is a resin kit you have to use CA glue so do not forget about it and of course be careful with resin because uh, usually all this dust from resin can be kind of problematic for some people so better use special uh, knives also special soles and maybe also the face masks or respirators so that you won't breathe it in. Next you can see the installation of the searchlight and all also the headlamp protection of which is provided as a PE parts as you remember so it's gonna be a quite a funny task to install all these tiny pieces onto the front section and yes the rear is detailed with the PE parts so here you have to be careful in order to align all these things in a right position Obviously there are no guiding elements whatsoever because it was the attachment point here on the rear so you have to install it just by your guess and that's why it will be important to get some alignment maybe to draw the line or something else because obviously you will be doing it before painting the model so that's why you can uh, draw some alignment lines which will help you with the proper installation. Next we continue with installing the turret and also installing the wheels so here everything is it's quite simple just uh, do not forget to install also this side view mirror as you can see it is also a P part and of course for the marking option so here we have to use the hockey cover and that will be quite a simple thing because you just basically paint in one color whole vehicle of course you can play with the color modulation but in a small scale it will be a bit trickier to replicate and that's pretty much all so I think that might be a great weekend build for Madeira who are happy to work with resin builds in a small scales and of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such a list do not forget to write it here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye